And we got 42 out there. Ooh, that 139 got a good little run right there. That's That says it's Curtis Keene, but that's not the car he was driving last week. Who's that? Curtis King in the 42. Yeah, Curtis King was in the 42 last week. Yeah, he was in the 42, but it wasn't this 42. No, that's a... Uh, Oh, that's 42W. All right, that right, is uh, uh, Robert Wyman. Robert Wyman. Okay. Now, was that was my old destroyer car oh, that yeah? came from the South Texas shootout from 24th to win. Really? Yeah. Well, that's pretty it's impressive. It's an amazing car. You were driving it then? No, E.J. Gilpin drove for me then. Oh, well. Don't remind me. Now no, I'm not as impressed the as e. I was e. a minute Gilpin. ago. E. If Gilpin. you know E.J. Gilpin, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. I'd put E.J. Gilpin in my car anytime too. <laughs> See, that, that guy's a stud. All right, I think we're bringing on the sprint cars now. I think. It looks like a car with a wing coming out now. So there comes the sprint cars. All right, here's a chance. You haven't seen them on the track this year here locally, but here's a chance to take a look at them. All right, you can see these guys need a little help get going. That's a direct drive car, so they uh, don't have a starter in them. So they're going to get a push to get going here. And, yeah, a little bit of a wet track here. <laughs> Having a little trouble getting that one to push to get started. Going to need something a little stronger than, than that to get that one going, it looks like. All right, help to the rescue. Get that 11 car pushed off and rolling, hopefully. All right. Come on, sprint cars. Get on out there, man. We want to check you out. We only got two. We're supposed to have, man, we got three now. Got three on the track. We got 17 here tonight, so. A little slow getting out for the hot laps. They are, I hope they're not prima donnas, but they are the stars of the show tonight. Well, it ain't easy to get those things kicked off there. No, no, it takes some doing. We've already you know seen I mean? that. Now, we've already had several pushing vehicles already spinning their wheels because it's a little, still a little wet out there. But you gotta, you gotta get them pushed off on, onto the track and then you gotta get them going again. All right, that one's off and away. Number six is off and running. Christopher Townsend. We're going for it? I think we're going to go with what we got. We'll see. Green's out, so here we go. Sprint cars, turn it loose. Mesmerized. They're rolling, though. No, it's amazing how fast these cars can fly around this track. They're going to get it done tonight. Now uh, we're going to have 17 on the track. They are going to get it done tonight. Just looking at some of these names here that are racing tonight, we got uh, the winner of last week's race, Isaiah Garcia. We have a couple of former champions in in the field tonight uh, in the 305 Wing Sprints SUS. And so, yeah, there are some really, really good cars, really good drivers you know, going to be on the track tonight in the wing sprints. Yeah, they're, uh, they're working on the cars right now, but uh, heat races are coming up here very shortly, and that's when you're going to really get to take a look at these cars and what they can do. Well, we're bringing out another few more to make some hot laps here.
All right, most of these guys that are racing, uh, they come up from East Texas, Houston area, and we'll, uh, we'll try to identify where their, their hometowns are through the evening. And we appreciate them coming to South Texas to race for us this weekend. That 17G car right here on the front straightaway, that was the winner last week's race. Uh, they raced at 105 Speedway. Who's that? That's Isaiah Garcia in the Isaiah 17. Garcia, something else, ain't he? Yes, Amp Racing. We met the owner of Amp Racing, didn't we? Yes, we sure did. He was uh, enjoying a snow cone. <laughs> That's right. He's got a Caleb also. Yes. Caleb, let me see if Caleb's on here. Caleb Martin, Angleton, Texas, number 51. Haven't seen him on the track yet, but... Uh, we assume they're from the same race house. They're probably both pretty good. getting them out there. Trey Schmidt in that 12 car. He is a former champion in this class. He is out there making some hot laps or fixing two. Try and keep you up to date. Some Here we go. Drivers. Right. It's going to be hot and heavy tonight. Look how fast these things are going to go. How many do we have out there right now? Four or seven looks to me like. All right. Ooh. They're coming in hot. Hot and smoky. That's not a good way to go. He got rid of it, whatever it was that was smoking. Yeah, a little oil on the head. Could have been. Yeah, he's, he's looking good now. They got those things revved up, don't they? Yeah, baby. We're going to see him. Racing for real here in not too long, but uh, that gives you an idea of what's going to happen here just in a, in a little while. we got a couple of uh, other classes going to race. Uh, he's racing before these guys come out. All right, there's the checker. Let these guys get the cars warmed up, some heat in the tires, the engine revved up and warm. And check out that track, and they'll be out to race heat races here real quick. We've got some coming out to race some hot laps. Uh oh, 24. 24 is Tyler Harris. I believe uh, Tyler is uh, someone that's uh, been a former champion, if I remember my my racing history on this group. Nobody else brought these guys out so far. Very interesting. Mm -mm. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be a good idea. Nope. Once again, yeah. Get a running start. <laughs> I don't know if I want that either. You know what I mean? I don't want him ramming into my car. We haven't even right. started yet. I, I didn't think that was a good idea. And there's the number 51. Oh, we well, talked about him. Help. 51, come back. We need you. 51. Come on. Help a brother out. Come on. Wait, we're on to something here. No, no, we got some movement. We got movement. Not enough movement. I don't know if it's a movement enough to get him going. He's getting there, getting there. He oh, yeah. He should have never checked up. He was the first. There we go. Oh, we All got right. it. All right, we're rolling now. All right, we was talking about Caleb from uh, one of the racing partners of Isaiah Garcia. He's out there in the 51. He's from Angleton, Texas. All right, green flag is out. Let's see what these boys can do.
Oh, we got limited modifieds, everybody. I can give it all that. We got Gilbert Pettis of Corpus Christi, Texas in the BD1. I don't know who the 14 is. You tricked me. Yes, I did, although it is Trent Beaver from China Grove, Texas. Oh, no, that's is that two 14s. That is a problem, but... Trent uh, Beaver is the white 14. There's a 14T and a 14. That makes... I'm glad I'm not scoring. That would throw me off for sure. All right, we got a couple of good racers out there right now. That 30K, that is Cody Leonard. And he is always tough. 30K, anytime you got the track. Jan in the, in the BM. Yeah, Gilbert Pitt is the, the third. And let's see who else is out there. Marcus Maklicek, yes. I mean, Benjamin Maklicek. And we got the other Maklicek out there in the 879. That is Marcus Maklicek. Mm -hmm. The 870s. So we got 14 cars. It's not the whole field that we have in this class tonight. All right, now we're going to take a look at the hot laps by the E-Mod class. They're rolling out the AOC Auto Parts E-Mod class, 13 entries. Thirteen tonight. That's unusual. That's an up-and-coming class. It's got a lot of shoes in it. Yeah, they've... You uh, know, we talked about uh, Witchy this morning and this afternoon, and there she is piloting the 58, 59B. Yep, yep. Another Maklicek in the AL87. Yeah. Mr. Titsman, he's been tough. He's been running in the top three almost Grand. every race. Yes, for sure. Very smooth kid. 34 W, that is poor Brad Wattups, who had a tough, tough time last week. Oh, yeah. So he rolled that car before he ever really got a chance to get out and race in earnest. Well, he didn't get out of hot laps, did no, he? No, nope. Yeah, that was a tough break. That was a tough way to end your night when you come out ready to race, and uh, yeah, you don't really get to. He's added about an extra 20 pounds of dirt on there, so I don't know if that. Pounds. Well, maybe more than that. Maybe about, about 200. That's <laughs> giving him extra traction. I don't know. He went into that corner. I haven't seen him come out. Oh, there he is. There he is. No, he's all right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah, I will tell you that we may have to have Brad Wattups come in after the races and put the dirt back on the track. Yeah. All right, we got a lot of cars rolling off now. This is the factory stock class. And it looks like most of them showed up to run some hot laps. Well, Memphis Virial is going to jump up to this high side. Then you got Mason Costanera. Dylan Gaither, a shoe out of San Antonio. Looks like another Maklicek in the 32. I'm not sure which one. Megan Dodson. Chris Dinsmore. The double zero, I'm not sure who that is. That would be Zach Freeman from Three Rivers, Texas. That ain't good. Yeah, apparently we got a car, one car stalled out up in the high side of turn one. I have to give him a little help, see if we can get him rolling. Can't tell what car that is. I know which car it is. Mad Motorsports number 30. Oh, that's, that's, that's not a good car to have that's stopped. That's not a good car to be switched out. No, no. Hopefully it's something, a simple fix. Look at that fix, 115 hopefully. Saints Ford Coors Light. Lightning fast Chuck Perry. Chuck Perry said tonight may be the night. That's what yeah, he told me. Tonight may be the night. When did he tell you that? Before you showed up late, he came in early. Oh my God, you got that 21 Steve Grants. Yeah, Steve Grants won two weeks ago, or two races ago. Did he lose a tire? I can't tell. Now, whatever is. Uh, it looks like all the tires are up. 
Don't look. I can't tell with, uh, what's wrong with Memphis Virial, but uh, the good thing is when it comes to uh, to heat races, uh, they go last. So he's got some time to work on that car, figure out what the problem is, hopefully get it fixed. All right, we're back to green. We'll let the let the factory stocks roll around here. It's going to be fast tonight, guys. I mean, it is going to be fast. Yes, sir. See it already. That is going to be something about, look at Steve Grant. That 21G's already putting it on that 21, just in hot lap. Yeah, he was. He won two races ago. He wasn't you here last week. we had to pick up the pace. The boss man comes in. You never oh. know, he'll snatch a microphone out of your hand, hit uh, you over the head with it. No, he'll whack you upside the head. It's happened to me lots of times. Look at oh Chuck Perry got Chuck Perry, we gotta get one tonight. All right, as you can tell, we got a super fast track tonight. Uh, we got a little mud on the very bottom, which we kind of leave there just to uh, keep them from running the bottom. The bottom makes it a little boring. We want them to run around the top of the surface and give us a hell of a show tonight. So uh, thank you for coming out tonight to uh, join us in our salute to the troops on Memorial Day weekend. We're going to start this thing off right now and uh, get it rolling. First, I want to work through something real quick. If you ever had a family member in the military, whether you lost them in the military or whether they're active or inactive, if you ever had a military person in your family, can you please stand up? All of these people had some type of sacrifice in their life by having a military member go off and, and do what they need to do to protect our country and fight for our freedom. So everybody give each other and all y'all sitting down, give them a round of applause. Thank you all so much for making that sacrifice. Whether you were in the military or whether you just knew someone as a family member, it's pretty important, guys, because everybody sacrifices in those situations. So we're going to start the night off with a prayer and follow that up with our national anthem. So if I could every ask everybody to rise and remove cover, we will begin. All right, everyone, if you would pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day and for us to come out and enjoy the sport we love so much. Keep everyone here at the track safe. Be, uh, give them all comfort uh, in these times that are troubling for all of us, uh, but uh, give everybody comfort here. Keep them safe. All the drivers, all the track crew, and especially all of our fans, please keep them safe. Not here just on the track, but as they head home and through the coming days. Oh. We, uh, we've had a rough week, people, and Lord, uh, please send comfort to everyone in Uvalde, Texas. That, that, is, that is something that no person should ever have to live through. Those people are suffering and suffering mightily. Please send them all the comfort that you can, and help us as a people in the United States, even worldwide, to understand what causes this kind of madness. Help us find a solution, because this cannot continue, and we look for your guidance in, in finding something that will eliminate and put this to an end, because it's craziness, it's madness, has no business being in any part of society in the United States or anywhere in the world. So if you can, we pray for your guidance on this matter. Finally, tonight is, well, this weekend is a very special commemorative weekend for all of us that enjoy our freedom here in the United States. Many, many people have made the sacrifice. They've lost their lives. That's what this weekend is all about, in service to the United States and our armed forces. And we want to recognize the families and especially recognize those that uh, have lost a loved one in defense of the United States and in defense of freedom. Those people have made uh, this country very special and made it the great country that it is today. Also, of course, recognize all the ones that currently serve in the armed forces. Please be with them, give them comfort, give them strength. All these things we pray for in God's name, and we say amen. Amen. Now remain standing from uh, live from the Turn 5 bar for our national anthem.
Oh, yeah. Riptide down there in turn five. Turn five, ripping it up. He's, they're going to play us one more here. Going to follow that up. We'll be bringing out some race cars here pretty quick. All right, everybody, let's get ready for some heat racing. This looks like the DM Services IMC Modified Series. Let's set the starting lineup right quick. Starting on the pole camera story, Corpus Christi, he's in the 741. We've got green, we're going racing. Jared Maupin is in the BD1. Starting third is Cody Leonard from Sinton in the 12th. Four is Logan Dinsmore from Kerrville. Starting fifth is Chris Gellion from Cleveland in the 81. The 83, we were talking about him earlier, that is Adam James, also from Cleveland. And we're off and running one lap coming around this time. He's off and running. Cody Leonard's going to come down the back stretch. And guess what? Here before long, Cody Leonard's going to make a run at him. I guarantee it. Cameron Smoothie right off top and nice and smooth down the back stretch. What do you think, Larry? I think we got two hot rotors up right up front there. But that eight car, I'm not familiar with him too much. But he Dinsmore. looks like Dinsmore might have something here. No, he's getting past himself. Pushed way up high in turn four. That cost him that spot. He, he had one won. more for about a half a lap. But I, you know, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, they both get bogged down a little bit over there. And that puts the front two out Cody's a little further ahead. To close in the gap, Daddy. Oh, yeah. No, no. We, we shall see, but yeah, they're starting to pull away oh, from everybody else. Closing rapidly, folks. Right now, we got a good race for third. We did uh, score in the eight. Up out of two. Here he goes. He's going to lose the car linger. It too. is mopping. All right, looking at halfway right now as they come around to the start finish line. There it is, halfway, and uh, Starry starting to pull away a little bit this Moppin's time. One of those guys, he needs to dry. You know that, Larry. He is a. Uh, yeah, he's struggling a little bit right now. He's lost a lot of speed going through one and two. He kind of gets bogged down over there a bit. But uh, track's now, still, track's still slick. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be a little racy right now. But right there, look at yeah, that. Yeah, no, he's 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 closing in on that third spot up front. It's still pretty much Cameron Story with uh, Cody Leonard uh, tracking him. But I don't know Starry's if he's making much ground. One and two, Larry, and, and and Cody seems to be better in three and four. All right, down the back stretch, Dinsmore pulls away. As we get the two to go, two to go as they ran past the start finish line. All right, he's going to, oh, our leader going to have to work his way around one of the back markers here. But uh, Cody Leonard lost a little time coming out of two on that one. He's up on that traffic. List. All right, white flag, white flag. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, no. Ah, uh, Cameron's story not happy. And the white flag is still out. We don't see a caution, so we're still racing. No, there's oh. a caution. There is a caution now. It's all right. We. 
I told you it was going to get interesting. Uh, I told you he was going to have trouble with getting around that car. And, uh, yeah, that uh, didn't work Somebody well. zigged instead of zagged, baby. Yeah, that That's zagged. That's two weeks in a row. Luckily, it wasn't in the feature, right? And then zagged right into him. And uh, Cameron Story, I'm sure he's not happy because he'd already marked that one down as a win. But he's still got. He's still going to start on the pole. No, no, he's moving right back up front. We're going to have yeah, a, start up have a green white checker here. Settle this thing. Got a little damage. Not too bad. Don't look too bad. I think he's all right. He got down in there in no man's land where it's muddy. Yeah, that muddy. That's a problem. And the uh, slower car in front of him did not help things. So we'll get him stacked up again and ready to roll. We'll finish this one off here as soon oh, as everybody okay. gets where they belong. Let's see. Come on, Cameron. He's coming. He's coming. Just make some way. Let me get through. He's coming. He belongs up front because he just got caught up in somebody else's mistake. All right, there we go. Well, you can't turn left at the end of the straightaway. You gotta wait till you get to the corner. Let's see what we do right here. All right, this could get interesting. Lights out. Here we go. Cody Leonard right on the back bumper Woo! now. This should be. Uh, Cody Leonard was better in three and four, but he ain't good in one and two. So let's see what happens. All right, we got green waiting for our drivers to come around. There's your green flag, and away we go. All right, Leonard, looking at low line, trying to work that in. Let's see what happens down the oh, back stretch. Cody got a better run off than he has been. Cody got a decent run. He's going to try to work under. This is where he's really good at. He's going to try and work the underneath the story. Let's see if that hurts. That's I don't know if there's enough. All right, white flag, around. white flag. One more time around. Cody Leonard's got something, now's the time. But he's, he once again loses a little time going through Just one. Just a little too and two. Off two. Yeah, he's having his trouble it's through over. one and two. And that looks like the camera's, well, I don't want to say anything. He had it wrapped up a minute ago. But I think it's all his, baby. There's your checkered flag. Cameron Story comes in first. Cody Leonard runs home second. And that is Dinsmore in the eight. He takes third. Owen brought me a, a, a bucket of beer, and in the bucket of beer, he decided to leave water. There was two ice cubes no, in there. No, there was one ice cube, oh. not two. Oh, well, I asked for two. He only well, gave I us one. I to talk to Owen Pittman and get it right when I need You know, when I am up here, I need all the fundamentals of ice in my... I don't have ice in my bucket now. You're going to learn. Everybody, give Trisha Pittman a round of applause right there, Trisha Pittman. Yes, that's a big round of applause for Trisha. All right, well, that was Trisha Pittman, <laughs> the lovely she don't young do much, blonde but lady. Round but of applause, anyway. <laughs> she's a Pittman. That's all good. Kinds of fun, Larry. All right, Pure Stocks. Oh. Pro Line Pure Stocks. They're getting ready to roll Here's off the with their heat one. race. All right, this is heat race number one. Shane Sturts in the 71, leads them off. Steve Whitaker, Whitaker the third in the 88W goes second. Rolling off third. Brandon Skinner in the two. Yes, they're rolling in the top, so we got a little time here to introduce the whole field. Starting fourth, Alexis Powell in the nine. Fifth place starter, Dennis Fulkerts from Corpus Christi. 139 is his car number. Sixth is John Wayne Wilson, last week's runner-up in the 39. Curtis King, last week's winner, is in the 42. All right, there sets your field. And once uh, we feel like their work is done, working in the track, and it looks like we're going to line them up and get ready to go racing. So oh. the object is for the 88, he's going to try to get them and beat them on the outside of turn one and two. On entry right there, that's what I make. That's where I make a living. You know that? Oh, yeah, is that your spot? You didn't know that? I thought you made a living selling cars, but whatever. Well, that too. That too. That <laughs> Not a very good one. <laughs> that, that, well, wait a minute. We don't have no car. No, I know that. <laughs> All right, they're coming around go. slow. Coming around slow, leading them out. Turn number four, time to go. Woo! I told Here you we go. 88 was going to go. Yep, he is ready and willing and you. able. He's going to jump on Shane Sturts. Let's see if he can make that work going through. Oh, he's all, he's, through. All, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, Brandon Skinner's going to follow Brandon him around Skinner. the high side. Don't oh. lift, Brandon. Don't. Oh, you lifted. Oh. And look, oh, look at that 139. He's going to drive him off in there. Yeah, look at the 42. He's got he got it down on the Use that front bumper, on that baby. inside. Diamond him down. All right. Brandon Fulker. Oh, no, he just made a mistake. Yep, that's slick. He, he found out what sleep was right there. Mm -hmm. All right, he's, uh, he's, he's going to get a little low. He's going to get a little, little oh, less. Oh, come to see you, baby. Little less move it along there, 139, for yep. Curtis King in the 42. And Curtis King says, that low line, that's my line. Oh, that 139 guy, he's on the outside of him now. 
Oh, and we get them coming together right here at the start finish line. No real damage done, although John Wayne Wilson has a little problem. Now Curtis King says, All right, John that Wayne Wilson. I better go. You're getting some more. I don't know. Let's see if the 39 wants a little payback here. We'll see. Uh, looks like Brandon Skinner. Well, uh, somebody's going up front. Stephen Whitaker, the third, is the one that's going right now. And Shane Sturt's hanging with him. Brandon Skinner, I don't know. He's sitting there. We'll see. Yeah, I think he's going to lose it here on this lap as you know, John Wade Wilson hung, comes in. Hung in there, you know what I mean? Yep. All right, we got halfway this time as they roll past. Oh, we got more? Yeah, we're just halfway done with it. Hey, it's still getting hot and heavy in the front. That 39 has been on a mission. Last week he was killing it. Yeah, he got second last week, but he yes, was he right did. there the whole night, and he's... Uh, Curtis trying to find a way around the 139. Curtis says, keeps uh, giving a little reminder to 139. I'm back here. I want to round. All right, John Wayne Wilson has it set up yeah, now to go around to Skinner. Skinner. He'll get him. Yeah, Skinner going to hold him off. Skinner's car has been smoking every time he's raced this year. I don't know what's going on, but he's putting out a bit of smoke. But he's he holding on to that third spot. Let's see this time. Down the back stretch, we got a drag race. Up front, it is still Stephen Whitaker, the third. John Wayne Wilson has the position on the inside for that third spot. That's the best Ooh, racing on the track. After it. Right now, we got four cars, all of them on third. Let's see what happens. All right, two to go. Two to go as they roll past. Up front, it's Stephen Whitaker, the third, and Shane Sturts in second. That seems pretty well set. Our battle right now is third place. Brandon Skinner somehow has managed Ooh, to hold off. Very nice. They give him a little pow pow. Come on. All right. I keep saying he's gonna he's gonna make it. All right, white flag for our leader, Stephen Whitaker the third. Shane Sturts rolls by in second. Here is where the racing is. Brandon Skinner holding on. John Wayne Wilson trying everything he can to get around that car. That was actually a really good run. Really good run. All right, check your flag in hand, waiting for our winner right here, Stephen Whitaker the third. Shane Sturts is gonna take second. John Wayne Wilson, does he have it this time? Doesn't look like it. Brandon Skinner. With a nice job of holding on to that third spot throughout the race. Yep. So it's Stephen Whitaker the third, Shane Sturts, and Brandon Skinner. That is your top three. Man, we got Chris Vincent gonna lead him out in the 18R. Robert Wyman in the 42W. <laughs> Larry just tapped his finger at me and said, get after it. <laughs> Jerry Walters in the 127. Jamie Deer. I never know where your head is, so every now and then I gotta remind you. Jeff Johnson in the 13J, and JC Paul Jr. in the 4J. All right, once again, we got some got some guys in here that can make a show go. some hitters in this field. You yeah. know, Jerry Walters is a stud anywhere he's at. Jamie Deer. Jamie Deer is. You know, I've rooted for him every week. I may want to stop rooting for him, because every time I root for him, he doesn't win. Oh, well. Jamie Deer did me a solid once when I was you racing. Know, Gave me a tire he's once. He's got scorekeeping ties. If he can't win, nobody can. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Is that not true? No, we're not allowed to say that. She's working. Leave her alone. All right, one to go, one to go as they roll past. we get this heat race number two in our pure stock class rolling here one more time around. Jerry Walters up front, and Robert Wyman in the 42 beside him. Jamie Deer is right now, he looks like he'd be in fourth place. Yeah, Jamie Deer should be in fourth. Let's get this lined up together. That's what Owen would say right now. Uh, he would say it more forcefully than that. But we're not allowed to go it. there. Yeah, Every no. Every time I do it, I get in trouble. No, no, no. You know what I mean? That's why we keep Owen. That's why you barely keep me around. And keep his oh, rate. Oh, Jay, Jay. Oh, hey, you went. he's done oh, jump. Let's see. Gone. Nope, 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 nope. Kevin saying no. Our flag man says that is not a good start. So we'll see. Now, well, well, he was shaking his head no, but we're still running. Are we What's green? That? I can't tell. I guess we're green. No, now he's, we're green. He's got a yellow flag. I don't know what we're doing. Didn't look like a fair start, but we'll see. But all right. So what are we doing? Apparently, we're letting this roll, and this is green. And 127, like 127 jumped way on us. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Jump. 
I don't know. He jumped way out there early, and right. uh, well, and there was some talk about doing a restart, but apparently we're not. So, uh, yeah, Jerry Walters, uh, well, he's in pretty good Jerry shape Walters right now. In the Saints Ford 127 in a different area code. Yep, yep. Then the 13G just got crossed over. The 42 decided to go through the mud pit. And Jamie Deer. That 13J, that's Jeff Johnson. Jamie just pushed him back down the straightaway. To help. No, get out of my way. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there's a subtle way to do it, and then there's a, a much more louder way to do it. Yeah. All right, well, Jerry Walters, yeah, we can write him in as the winner on this one, I think, unless something happens. But that 13J, that is Jeff Johnson running second. Happen. Running third to 42, that Robert Wyman and Jamie Deer. Jamie Deer liked that third spot. He can't quite get up there to him, but I think he will before this is over. Lap five? Lap five, got three Lap to go. Five right now, guys. Jerry Walters right now having a... Jerry Walters could coast home from here just about. Sweet Yep. A little bit yep. of fried chicken. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh oh. Well, this may uh -oh. change things. Let's see. Let's it. see. Now he's a he's out of the way. So we got two to go. Two to go. 18 R spun. Went to the infield, and that was Chris Vincent. And we're still green. And Jerry Walters is still a happy man. 18 R successfully gets on the track without hey, wrecking everybody. He gets back. Thank you for that. That was a good one. Yes, that's always a good thing. All right, right white flag for Jerry Walters. You see that blue rim? That, that was from when the heyday of that car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, there you go. Must be luck. He's got his hood, too. You know he lost that during our last. Oh, really? I didn't see that. Oh, oh okay. You know. All right, there's your winner, Jerry Walters. No contest. Running second, Shane Sturtz. Third place, uh, well, it's still in doubt, but it looks pretty good like it's going to be. This car right here, the number 42, he comes home with a win, and that is Robert Wyman. Well, that's the way they finish, one, two, three. Well, that's never a good thing. I was excited. Well, it's ex I was excited. exciting considering we weren't racing anymore. <laughs> Everybody want to do the wave? Oh, it's too early. Yeah. Oh, I've seen it, though. I like it. Somebody, these are paying attention tonight. Somebody waved. Yes. What? Wait, wave. We do that when you get closer to halftime. After they've had a few beers, they're ready to do the wave. A few of those dollar bills. A few of those dollar Coors lights. Look at my man in the green muscle shirt. You know, me and that guy raced at CC Speedway together for years. Yeah, he's seen me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's Hector. Yep. Yeah, you. That's right. Yeah. He's a celebrity. Y'all just don't know it. <laughs> I can't help myself. Number one. <laughs> Number 11. That's right. I know. That's right. Orange and black. I got you. Uh -huh. All I never right. forgot you wrecked me when I first got my tires. No. <laughs> <laughs> you never forget. Uh, All right. Damn. All right. Out there on the track right now, the 305 sprints, the wing sprints. They are taking the... Uh, Track for heat race number one. This is the way it's going to line up. Starting in the number one position, that's Stephen Leggio from Corpus Christi. He is in the 11th. Starting second, Rod Craddock, Alvin, Texas, driving the seventh. Starting third, Willie Reed, Anderson, Texas, 3W. Starting fourth, Isaiah Garcia, last week's winner, 17G from Harlingen. Still the show. Starting fifth is Aiden Welch from Corpus Christi in the 10W. And starting sixth, Tracy Riley from Texas, somewhere in the 21. Star, you can do the next one. No, no. Just make this the Larry Roberts show. It always has been, but I'm making room for you there. Now, now it's the Hector and Larry show. No, you don't get top billing. No, Heck, the no, Hector. no, no, no. The Hector. The Hector and Larry show. Uh, yeah. I like this guy. Who's pointing at me? There you go. You drinking beer? Can't beat that dollar beer, can you? If you do not roll down the stairs at the end of the night, I'm going to come push you. Yes. I, I see you two over there, ma'am. Don't look at me too much because I'll be over there. I'll talk about it. Yeah, you two and, and the lady next to you. Hey, it's fixing to get hot and heavy, and I'm going to steal the tail tank word, but they're fixing to be all bumper to bumper, wide open, the high side hustling, and make these sprint cars roll around this track. So it's fixing to get crazy. I'm, I'm excited about this, aren't you? Been excited about it ever since I heard about it. So, yes, absolutely. This should be good. This is the heat race first of three we're going to have. We got three of them? We got three heat races. We got, that we got is 17 of these cars in the house tonight. 
Might watch out for that 17G, Isaiah Garcia. He was your winner last time out in this group of cars at 105 Speedway. Got two drivers from Corpus Christi, Stephen Leggio in the 11 and Aiden Welch in the 10W. And we're running. And we're running green. We didn't line them up. We just turned them loose. So there we go. No, they're, they're hot lap. This heat race. Look at, look, this heat bad. race. Hot lap. Heat race. He's done hot laps already. No, he, no, no. I know. They got to warm up. They always do. Oh, you're trying to trick me. It's not that hard. I, I just try every now and then to keep you awake. All right, yes, they got a few warm-up laps. That's the nature of these cars. And yes, we are going to have a heat race here in just a second. Man, a lot of beautiful faces in the stands today. Thank you all for coming out and supporting South Texas Racing Ranch and all the great things that are going on here. I know it's Memorial Day weekend. I know we're going to take, we took a moment of silence to remember our fallen soldiers. But guys, when the night comes on and this feature comes on, give everybody a huge round of applause. And we want to thank you for fans coming out because without y'all we're not here. Did anybody listen to me? What? I don't think anybody listened to me. It's hard to tell. You can say, yeah, let's do that scream, holler, raise the tail. It's all right. As long as they're here. I can't hear them. Well, this is a different channel. All right, we got them lined up, got the caution light out. So I think next time, Rye, we're going to see some serious running by our 305 wing sprints. Man, here we go. Tighten your belt. Not literally them. And let's get it on. Here we I won't do a boogity, boogity, boogity. I refuse. No, none of that. No boogity. You can say let's go racing, though, if you want. Let's go racing. And we are, they're off and running. Seven car off quick. That is Rod Craddock. He takes an early lead and he is stepping it on out from the rest of the Clayville here. That one car going with him. Oh, that's 17, Isaiah Garcia in second. Oh, that stuff happens real fast, guys. I almost said the other one. All right, 17, Isaiah Garcia. Close that gap in a hurry. He's right there on the tail. Number three car now running third. That oh, is Willie Reed. Right there on two. All right, number, number seven, Rod Craddock, he has the lead. He's starting to pull away again. Let's see, Garcia in the 17. He's been able to make up some ground. They lose a little ground on that back stretch. Let's see what happens going through the turns. Three and four, he's good. He's very what good. Is where he's getting killed. That's where he's losing his time, absolutely, right there. Although our leader lost the back end just a little bit. That's going to close it up some. That three car, he's hanging in there tough. He may have something to say about this before it's over. That's Willie Reed in the three up front. It is the seven car with the lead. That, that F-17G is, right is on it. All right, it is Craddock in the seven. Uh, three car starting to close in on the number two position. But up front, it is Craddock. Isaiah Garcia in the second. Third is Willie Reed Hello? in the three. They are clicking them off. Fast and furious, folks. I told you they wouldn't lift. They just got it pedaled down all the way around. All right, we're down to one lap to settle this as we come to the white flag right now. There's your leader, Craddock. Garcia in second. Willie Reed in third. That's looking about the way they're going to finish. We'll see. Down the back stretch, Garcia's going to close in. Let's see what happens. Danny make a move coming through three and four. He's driving it in hard. He's driving it in hard. Not going to have it, though. Up front, it is Craddock in the seven. Takes the win. Second place, Isaiah Garcia in the 17. Running third, Willie Reed in the three. That's the way they finish. That is heat race number one, 305 wing sprints. And I told you that would be awesome. I hope you are entertained because we're just getting started. I was entertained. You were actually all over it. I didn't even get a chance. Sorry. I get, I get, I get excited. You got real excited on that one. All right, I'll let you get excited. No, you do. No, no. You introduce Heat Race 2 here. Oh, man, here we go. Tight 
Tyler Harris out of Victor, Texas. Ryder, Texas, number 24. Teresa Waller out of Conroe, number three. 22L, Kent Lewis out of Willis, Texas. 76, Daniel King out of Conroe. 5L, Cassidy out of Abbeville, Louisiana. 12, Terry Schmidt out of Houston, Texas. All right, there's a couple of former champions in this. Trey Schmidt, former champion in this. Daniel King has a whole bunch of wins early in his career here. Your homework. And Tyler Harris has won a few times as well. Cassidy Lejeune is from Abbeville, Louisiana. I know my French, Marie. It's got a little parlay. Ooh, you are showing off. Yeah. Do it one more time. What's, the, what's Cassidy's last name? Lejeune. Lejeune. But Lejeune works too. Yeah, we're drinking Coors Light up here, folks, so it's gonna we get may not make it to intermission. <laughs> I don't know. He was talking about somebody stumbling down the, the steps. I don't know. It may not be that guy in the stand. It may be Hector. Might be both of us. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm being very reserved on my drinking tonight. But it's fixing to start. What I happened? Get, I don't know. Something's out there. Owen is talking with the uh, official from the SUS, the Sprint Wing Sprint Series. What did we miss? Something's going on. I'm not sure what it is. Oh. Trisha Pittman, everybody, give her another round of applause. Trisha Pittman. And Woo! There goes Trisha, former athlete. You can see her sprinting down the steps. Without her, we have no radio communication. So if you're wondering what was happening, why we're not racing, but it's because we had a radio go bad. Trisha Pittman. <laughs> Trisha Pittman becoming a star tonight. She missed work on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday <laughs> to help her dad with trophies. So this is my makeup, by the way. So you mix work, you 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 get congratulated. Well, Maybe she, I should be she working gave over me there. The congratulations. She gave me the congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a kind one. A salute, was it? Yeah, it was. A salute. Oh, I, I'm familiar with that salute. I've gotten it a few times. All right, here we go. Cars coming on the track. He said track, not crack. No, we don't want anybody on crack. Like I said, Trey Smith there in the 12. He's a former champion in this class. He's been, I think, three-time champion, if I'm not has mistaken. Really? Yeah, well, they, this class has actually been around for a long time. Uh, I, when I did a little research on them, come to find out they've been racing for like 20 years, this particular class. So I've got a several guys that have a lot of experience in this class. At 76, Daniel King, he's also a strong runner. But you never know. We don't know everybody on this, on this track. Just because you're not a champion don't mean you're not damn good. No, I agree. I'm no good, and I'm a champion. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I still can't figure that out. I don't know. I think somebody got a new car. And That's it. And, uh, At intermission, yeah. South Texas 2021 champion will come out of this box for a, a small debut. A debut? <laughs> I've already seen your debut once today on on Did Facebook Live. Yes, yes. Yeah. We had a damn good time. If you missed it, well, we'll be back. Maybe before the next race in June. We'll see. Let's see if our, our contract's picked up or not. I don't know what happened out there, but it seems to yeah, be they're a looking at looking at the well, looking at the front end of that car over on the back stretch. Not sure. Did you lose a tire? Not sure. I can't really tell. This is where I need my binoculars, but. Unfortunately, I left my binoculars here one time, and they weren't here the next time I came back. So, yeah, they taking him off on the hook. Looks like that's that's not a good sign. I can't tell. It looks is like not a good sign. It's like I can't tell if his tire is, is cocked eyed crooked or not, or he has the wheel turned. Kevin Sullivan is the flag man tonight, and if y'all don't know Kevin Sullivan, he's been a flag man here for many years. Mike Riley's been the flag man the last few weeks, so it's good to see Kevin Sullivan. I brought him out of retirement tonight, dusted him off, threw him right back up on the stand. He's, he's going he's gonna to rock and roll tonight. He came all the way in from East Texas, where he lives now. He looks like he's from East Texas. Well, yeah. You know I, mean? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go there. It's a special breed. I don't, I don't want to hear. If you're from East Texas, that was Larry Roberts. Larry uh, Roberts, don't talk about people like that. Nah, I didn't say nothing. I came, he said he came in from there. And you got no room to talk. You're from Arkansas, so I be am quiet. I'm from Arkansas. I'm an Arkansas yep. Mexican. Yep. Rare breed indeed. Ooh. All right. Those of you who don't know, these are warm-up laps. So get a little warm-up in, a little heat in the tires, get the motor warmed up. 
little time to get that heart rate down. Yeah, get that heart rate up. Oh, man, look at that one car. He is really working that wheel, sawing that wheel back and forth. Oh, yeah, that's that time jack track. That's uh, Tyler Harris in the 24. He was he was turning right to go left all the way around one and two. That man was hammered down, baby. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we're warmed up. We're ready to stretch it out and go running for a heat race victory. You don't have a lot of time, but you do have a little bit of time. Not uh, right now, but right after this race, go grab you some Dos Equis and some Coors Light. Dollar beer night. It is unbelievable. Not Dos Equis. i got to put that disclaimer out there because Larry gets mad at me. Well, it is Coors Light. So it is go, Coors Light. It's Coors Light tonight. It's usually Dos Equis, but tonight it is Coors Light that we have on sale because for a dollar. Coors Light is always right. Well, it's right for you. I know that. No, did you like that? Coors Light is always right. It needs some work, but it's not bad. Look at Chuck Barber. Chuck Barber, everybody. Yeah, I know you see me, Chuck. All right, we got our sprint cars on I'm the track. I'm going to get a ride with Chuck Barber. I keep mentioning him tonight. He's got a lot of cars. Think yeah, he he's got a lot of cars. Chuck, you got a lot of cars, baby. We love you. Looks like he could free one up. Call me Jared. <laughs> Jared? <laughs> Jared Jr. Oh, call me whatever you want. Just put me in a car. All right, rolling them down. All right, with the caution light is out. They're coming around oh slow. God. At some point, they're going to pick gonna it up. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Don't say that. Don't say that. Let's go racing. All right, they're away and running. On the inside, that's the oh! 24. He loses it. And surprisingly, that wasn't much worse than it looked like it was going to be. The back end went totally out from under the number 24. The three kind of got caught up in that. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a near so disaster. So right now, the 24 and three are having conversation. All right. And yes. I can only tell you the three is not telling him he's his best friend. No, no. The 24 is saying, I don't know what just happened. It I was don't an know. accident. I don't know. It could happen to anyone. Who? Why would anybody drive it down in the bottom right now? And number three is saying here, I'm calling my lawyer right now. But around here. Yeah, let's see. It, it didn't look too bad. It didn't no, like anybody no, got no, collected too bad. But we're out there taking a look at them. They got to get pushed to get going again. So we'll see if that happens. That was like pinball machine. But that didn't take long, boy. No. <laughs> All right, 24 is rolling. See if we can get it going. Yeah. Don't see any major damage on either car, so no, I think we're okay. No, we'll be all right. Can't tell with the three. He just sideswiped him a little bit. He went right through the middle of it, 24 did. Didn't really collect anyone too bad, but Did you see what he said? I'm here. Did you see me? Did you see me? Did that, you see me? Wasn't that some fancy driving? Yeah. Yeah, we don't care for that driving much, but. All right, three. Three's getting the push. Let's see if he can go. 24 is going to go by, and 3 is going to the infield. Let's see. No, he, no, he's got it running. He's got it running. Got got it running. Rolling. Had to get rolling down that hill, but he got it going now. Sir, did you get ice in that bucket? I need to borrow some. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If you ever go to Europe, you, you get one cube of ice and be happy about it. Somebody turn the AC off. I don't know. All right, we're going to try this again. The three right. and the 24 three go to the 24 back. 24 go to the back, even though I don't know three had anything to do with that, but they're both in the back now. That's what it seems like. I know. The three's asking himself, what happened? What happened? Why am I back here? I just dodged that guy that went crazy. Right. All right, leading around right now is the 22. Yep. That is Kent Lewis. He is on the inside, on the outside. There's a 76 of Daniel King as we Watch come around. Watch that 12 car, folks. I picked him to win. Well, I told you he's a three-time no, champion. No, you didn't tell me. I right. did, too. Damn it, Hector. You can't use that language. All right. Darn, Here we go. Darn you, Hector. Here we go. Let's go racing. And we're off into turn one. Much smoother this time. Woo. That 76, Daniel King, he ain't wasting no time. No. I am surprised by that. Oh, now it's going to be interesting. All right. Could get interesting now. Got two fast cars. I think two former champions up front. I mean, I meant the 76. Uh, that may change yet again, I no, think. it's going to change real quick. Maybe check it back to the 12. But right now, it's Daniel King in the 76. The 12 car is right there. That is Trey he's Schmidt. Running him down, baby. He's running ah, him down. He's making his tracks. That five car looks kind of sporty on bottom also. That car is challenging on the inside of the 22. That 22L, that is Kent Lewis, the five. That is oh. Casey Lejeune. 
Or it could be Lejeune, but I think it's Lejeune. All right, halfway, and Daniel King is still in the lead. Second place, running hard, is the number 12 of Trey Schmidt. All right, we just got a little bump there, the 5 to the 22, saying, hey, I'm back here, and Same I think won't. we've seen all night. One's better in 3 and 4, and one's better in 1 and 2. Look at them down the back stretch, though. Here they go. All right. Let's see if that 12 can make some more ground up down this back stretch. All right, 5. 5's got it now. It's oh, oh, no, he don't. He went way up too high in 22, and we got one dead oh, he's all on off. the back stretch. That is... Number 12 car, Trey Schmidt. We thought he was going to make a move for the lead. He's making a move to the pits. All right, here we go. White flag waiting for Daniel King as he comes around this time. I think we got ice. There is Daniel King in the 76. He takes the win. Second place right there, 22. Third is five. 22 car. That is Kent Lewis. And the 5L is Casey Lejeune from Abbeville, Louisiana. All right. Well, Daniel I don't know what King. happened. We started shotgunning beers. Thank you. Just me. All right, Daniel King. Yeah, he put that one away in a hurry. He was off and running from the get-go, and, well, he had a little competition there for a little while, but it, uh, it faded in a hurry as he went to the pits, and it was all Daniel King after that. So Daniel King taking a victory. And he'd race number two for your 305 ring sprints. All right, we're coming up on third class. You got it? We got it. He'd race number three. I can take it or you can have it. All right. You waited too long. Now it's yours. Go. 51, Caleb Martin out of Angleton, Texas. Six, Christopher Townsend out of Laporte, Texas. 07, Bobby Middleton out of Mansfield, Texas. 23W, Dustin Welch out of Bryan, Texas. And the 26, Jacob Harris finding out the field out of Vider, Texas. This is going to be a hot and heavy class right here. Yeah, this is a good group of cars. Supposedly the six car from Amp. Where's he, who's he with? No, it's Caleb Martin. This is from Amp Motorsports. Yeah. And that Townsend is supposed to be super duper fast. Christopher Townsend I'm sure pretty good. i fast, but I just figured I'd say those. Turner Motorsport, Turner Welch Motorsport. Yep, Jacob Harris there in the 26 from Vider. Word on him, he's pretty quick as well. So we got we got some runners in this class. All these cars from, well, either south of Houston or up in East Texas. So, that's uh, probably, well, a few of them. Have, I heard the guy from Amp Motorsports say they've been here before, so I don't know if these racers have been here before, but. Uh, Isaiah Garcia is one of them. Oh, yeah, Isaiah Garcia. He's. I mean, he got the kid. He's there. He asked me if I wanted to make hot laps and drive tonight. You know, I said I'm going to announce tonight. Who asked you that? Amp Motorsport. I didn't hear him say that. Yes, he kept winking at me. Uh, I don't know what that was going on. I, oh, what I, happened? I, they do that for fun. Our tow truck is now parked in the infield. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, stuck in the infield, I think is the word for it. And we're doing some hot laps right now. Let these guys get limbered up, get the car hot, get the wheels hot, get the feel for the track. And that's over with. Let's hope we don't need the tow truck for a while. We may have to bring the tractor in from the pits. We'll grab a Ford and pull it out. Where's the same Ford pace you know what's truck? Crazy? Is it here? Is that my guy who's not drunk yet? I don't know his name, but we're going to go check him out at an intermission. My guy who's not drunk yet pointed that out to us. We were all over that, by the way. Yep. Yep. Keep pointing stuff out. We, we don't see everything up here. We're going to put you up here at an intermission so I can drink beer. <laughs> You're going to start then? I thought you started already. We didn't start it yet. Oh, okay. It's just warming up now. All right. This is the way it looks right now. Up front, that 51 car, that is Caleb Martin. We've talked about him. Next to him is the six of Christopher Townsend. They'll be leading them around. Of course, as Hector can tell you, the idea is to go slow and catch everybody off guard when you decide you're going to go and everybody else is that slowing down. That was Jerry, Wal Jerry Walter's technique. That, was go a, into, go that is a good technique. Everybody tries Here it. Doesn't go, always baby. work. Let's do it. We're racing. There we go. That 51 was sporty coming Ooh, out. He's 51 old. is red hot and running. But we're going to have a little contest there. I don't know what his lap times are, but that kid is on the wheel right now. Christopher Townsend in sixth car, running second, third place. This is 23. Townsend better that pull, is pull the tight belt sight and get after it. He needs to because that 51 is pulling it oh, on he's out. He's in a different zip code. Yep. We 
uh, we talked to the Amp Motorsports owner, and he said he had two cars out here. I say he brought two very fast cars out here tonight. Yeah, he didn't mess around tonight. No, no. He brought the He's A-Team. He's got a second and one heat, the first and the second. Yep. I don't want to jinx the kid. No, don't jinx him. That seen things change too quickly around here the last couple of weeks. But he's looking awesome. That's probably the fastest car we've seen all night. Yeah, it is. All right, that is Welch, Christopher Welch in the 23. He's running third. In the sixth, that is your skip place runner. That's Christopher Townsend. Woo! Come on, Townsend. Come on, get up on that wheel. He's trying. The Townsend's on. number six in second place. The 23 in third. Yeah, I don't know. That, that 51 is, he's tough. And we got two to go, so it's going to be hard to catch him. Oh, he's going to be starting out front, so it's going to be more interesting. Tonight. That is going to be uh well, it's going to be interesting anyway, but that is one fast car. He's got the white flag. There it is. One more lap around for 51. That is Caleb Martin. All right, here comes Caleb Martin, 51. He has to check the flag. He has a win. There it is. Your winner, 51, Caleb Martin. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That was a good race right there. That man was on it. It was a good race for Caleb Martin. The other guys weren't so happy with it. Christopher Townsend takes second in the sixth. The 23 finishes up third. That is Dustin Welch. I see the driver of the 13J factory stock. Look at him. He's right in the front right there. Mr. Johnson. Is that James Johnson or Jimmy Johnson? Huh? Jeff Johnson. Yeah, I'm looking right at you. I haven't forgot you spun me out in Edmund. There, yeah, Junior was on the wheel there. He got the second. I was kind of proud of him. Damn, you don't forget anything. Hey, son, don't drive like your daddy. He spun me out. I heard my fifth. I was running second. I ran second in two years, and there I was. I'd have had to see that to believe it, but. Where are you going? You better be getting another bucket. All right, there you go. I'm all right with that. All right, you're our spotter now. We yeah, can't I lose see you. you. I'm gonna, yeah, hey, give that young man a round of applause. I was proud of that kid in the heat race. Good job, son. There you go. Way to get it done. All right. Well, Hector's calling out everybody in the stands that ever spun him out. This could take a while, but yes. let's move on to oh, you got, the limited you modifieds. You're taking over the show again. Oh, we got limiteds. We got racing to do yet. Ooh, that's 77. It's just getting started here. Here's heat race number one. Jade Allgaier. Jude Allgaier, excuse me. Racing the limited modifieds starting out in the pole. Stephen Whitaker, the third from Robstown. He drives the 38. Gilbert Perez, the third. A lot of guys that are the third racing in this one. He's in the BD1. He starts second. Starting third, Cody Beto in the 77. Fourth place starter, Jarrett Barber in the 19. Starting fifth, Tom Grothews from San Antonio in the 11T. Sixth, Jared Maupin in the 91. And seventh is J.J. Jennings. Yeah, that is, a, J. J. Jennings. that is a loaded group right there. That's a field right there. Yes, sir. We had the 91 and 19 battling for the win last week. They're starting in the second row together, so if I was in the front row, I might be a little worried about those two behind me. Looks like the 38 dropped to the back. He is dropping back. That is young that? Stephen Whitaker the third. Hey. I think that kid's 11 years old in the 38, folks. All right. Caution flag is out. We're coming around for a checker. Not a checker, a green. It is green. There we go. Cody Beto on the inside. Woo! On the outside, Gilbert Petters the third. Gilbert Petters the third, making the break for Jared the Bobbin lead. up the third. Jared Barber on the outside. All right, the two to Jared and the Jared right now racing in third and fourth. Up front, though, that is Gilbert Petters. Gilbert Petters is a tough racer. So oh, he's on the wheel right now. He's got it. All right. Gave away. Oh, there's Charlene Dotson. And down the back step, that is Moppet. He is fighting for second with Cody Beto. Looks like he's going to take it. Woo! Who's that on the high side? Oh, Moppet to the bottom, got second. Moppet got second. Puts Beto back to third. Up front still, Gilbert Petto's the third. Let's see if Moppet can close that gap. J.J. Jennings coming from the back. He's already going to be up to fourth. J.J. Jennings always tough. He's working on Barber now for fourth. Sets him up off three. Look at He's that. He's got it. He's got that four spot. Look at that. AJ Jennings AJ now. AJ Jennings down the back set. Sets his sights on Cody Beto. All right. So 
Somebody got a black flag. I'm not sure what that was about. Is that the black flag, Kevin? The black flag. I'm not sure he's waving it at. That that 11, 11, I think. That's yeah. All right, up front still Gilbert Pettis the third, but Jared Moffin starting to close that gap and close in on that lead. Not starting to. He's there, baby. Yeah, he is there. He's, he's there. Going, Look he's at that. He's trying to set him up. Hot. He's, he's coming in hot. He's going to dive Look low. Let's go. see. Not going to happen this time. All right, halfway, halfway, I believe. All right, that's two to go. Two to go. I'm sorry. Couldn't tell where he's holding those flags. All right. All right, Jared oh, Moffin. It's going to get interesting here. JJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, get real interesting real quick. White flag, one more lap. We're going to settle this thing. First and second, very much up for grabs. Third Somebody and fourth. Down in one and two. Third and fourth, still up for grabs. All right. Can Moffin do it? Can he oh. close it? Nope. Pedros is pulling away down the back stretch. JJ, JJ, JJ Jennings. Jennings down the back stretch for third. That's going to be side by side going in right now. Here is your winner, Gilbert Pedros the third, taking the checker. Second place goes to Jared Moffin. Here is the battle for third. Oh, battle gets it. Beto on the outside, able to close that out and take third place. So up front, your winner was Gilbert Perez the third, second place win. That was a great run. That was awesome. Jared Maupin in the 91. Told you we had some great Anytime racers in that. Anytime you can hold off Maupin, you're in, you're, you no, got a yeah. hot rod. No, no, you're doing pretty darn good if you can hold off Maupin. Third place went to Cody Beto. All right. You want to introduce the next group here? No. All right, then. I got it. Well, make up your mind. <laughs> 73, Derek Gonzalez out of Corpus Christi, Texas, and the 14, James Cole out of San Antonio, Texas. The 14, Tia Trent Beaver out of China Grove, Texas. The 30K, Cody Leonard out of City, Texas, always tough. 33, Ray Allen, I'm going to let you get it. Ray Allen Kulhanek. Dan uh, Burry, Texas. Dan Burry. 879, Marcus Makachek out of Corpus. And then the 13M of Benjamin Makachek out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Ooh, they got a large field in this one. Yes, sir. This one could get interesting up front. Oh, yeah. yeah. Trent Beaver ain't no joke. I don't know about James Cole and Trent Beaver. A couple of San Antonio area drivers. Let's see what they got. Cody Leonard's in this group as well. There's a green flag. Let's go. Oh, they're beating and banging down into one. Oh, that didn't take long. 14 on the inside. Holding his line and getting some uh, some cushion from the guy he on the outside. That, Cody Leonard. Cody Leonard, yep. Yeah. Cody Leonard kept him from spinning out, looked like. And here we go again. Another bang. That is James Cole. Haven't seen James Cole before, but he's, uh -oh. a, he's got Cody Leonard there. on the outside. Cody That's Leonard. a power move, folks. All right, 14's not giving it up without a fight. Here we come. We got three cars. Three cars looking for that lead as we come out of turn number four. But right now, it is Cody Leonard that takes it. James Cole in the 14 running second, but he has got. Oh, Marcus Mekasek gave him a little love in that right tank. Right there behind him. And Cody Leonard stepping on out a little bit, but we've got a big time race for second, third, and fourth. All right, halfway, halfway this time by. All right, here's Cole in second. Maklicek in third. Maklicek Ooh, moving Ray that back Kahanek in a little bit. 33 coming to the inside. 32, three, Ray Allen Kahanek making that move. Trying to get that third spot up front. It is all about Cody Leonard. Second place is pretty solid. James Cole. Third spot. Maklicek in the age 79. All right. All right. Bray Allen Kahanek. He's second in points right now. He would like to get up there and grab a spot if he could. He's in that 33 car. Front two look to be pretty solid as we got two to go. All right, we could have a battle of Maklicek's here as we're getting close. Two to go, folks, two to go. All right, there's two to go right now. Cody Leonard's in a Cody different Leonard. zip code. Cody Leonard's got it. Very much smooth sailing. James Cole out of San Antonio running second in that 14. Putting on a nice show. That is Marcus Maklicek in the 879. All right, Ray Allen Kohanek in the 33. He's making a move down the back stretch for third. I don't know when the 14 got on. The second one, look at it. All right, one time left remaining around this track and for Leonard. Right now the best best racing on the track is for third. We've got three cars there, two Maklicek cars, and Ray Helen Kahanek sandwiched in between. Two Marcus, Maklicek. Two Maklicek's. And it looks like Mark 
Marcus Maklachek going to take that third spot. Your winner, Cody Leonard, in the 30K. Second place runner is James Cole out of San Antonio, making a nice run there. And third, Marcus Maklachek in the 879. Trent Bieber was second. That was T? Yeah. You sure? Damn it. Trent Bieber right. is second. You're getting better. I'm going to carry you tonight. You may have to. I'm going to carry you I did not see that T on that car. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was, I was out of line. Rubbed it all off on Cody the first two Well, <laughs> there was some of that going on, no doubt. All right. We're going to slow it down just a little bit as we're going to run some mini-mod racing coming up. Yeah, we that's are. that's the plan. That's the plan. They're starting to turn out some cars now. we got seven of them here tonight. Looks like the starting lineup, it looks like this. Starting the pole, Bill Six out of Bishop, Texas, driving the six, ironically. Starting second is Michael Lindsay in the eight. Starting third, Chris Dudley in the one, one, two. And Chris Dudley is uh, the winner from last week. Third place goes to TJ Boyd in the 72. Starting fifth, Steve Loy, 15. Starting sixth, Bill Dunker in the 21. And rolling off in seventh is Cody Harding in the 59. Won last week. Who's that? Studley Dudley, he won last week. Yes, he did. Yeah. That's odd. Yeah. Is that odd? <laughs> I That's don't know. Odd. He's usually pretty good. No, Dudley's really good. I know. Uh, I don't like to give him no credit. Uh, well, you don't give anybody any credit except yourself. Uh, I've been doing, I'm good at that. Oh, yeah. yeah I see you patting yourself on your back right every now. Every chance I mm -hmm. get. Somebody has to. Well, yeah, I feel the same way. I never get any, any other way. All right, there we go. We're off and running. That is Chris Dudley in the 1-1-2 one, one, and Bill Six driving the six. I love to say that. Bill Six in the six is in second. That eight car has been fast. He's had a hard time closing out races. That is Michael Lindsay in the eight. Really? He's in the very back. He was supposed to start up in the second spot. So I don't know. He maybe He's very cautious troubles. tonight. Yes. Yes, these guys run with a motorcycle engine. So that's why you hear that high pitch sound. And Chris Dudley is uh, stepping yeah, on out. Dudley Dudley is out there by himself. The yes, six car is. is running a close second. Uh, he's in the picture. I believe that's the 15 right now running third. Did you see my hat? Steve Lloyd. See it now. What does it say? It says Bay Limited. Bay Limited. You know I'm a fabricator. I so weld. I do all kinds of stuff. You fabricate a lot of BS, I think. Uh oh, the 15 just took second. All right, Bill Six. Here comes third. the 21. Steve Lloyd now in second. Oh yeah, 21 is starting to get lit up a little bit, but up front it is still Dudley. And that's very reminiscent of the last race, actually. He definitely is the class of this field, but uh, this is the first year we've run this class of car out here. And a little surprised that uh, Dudley moved down. He had been pretty good in this in the stock car class. You know, uh, James Parks, the one and only. Yes, I know James Parks. Building these cars, putting that, promoting that to you. So Dudley works for him. Oh well, that explains that. Mm -hmm. Well. This is a good move for Dudley. He's going to take home some hardware again, it looks like. Yep. But up front, it's all about Dudley. Second place is 15, Steve Lloyd. Third place is 6, Bill 6. But Dunker in the 21 is starting to close in for that third spot. You know, Dudley's up there on that cushion, baby. He's making that thing work. He's definitely making something to work because he is away and gone. All right, Dudley takes the white flag. Second for Steve Loy, third place is six. Dunker in the 21. Still may have something to say about third. First place is wrapped up. Wrapped up and put a checkered flag on it because he's rolling to the wind. Next, factory stocks. I never get ahead myself, sir. This race is still going on. Second place, Steve Loy, third place, Bill Six. All right, now we can talk about what's coming up next. And coming up next is e -mods. The AOC Auto Parts E-Mods. A little light on E-Mods tonight, but a little less than usual. But still, we got a representation of 13, so we'll have two exciting heat races with a lot of cars in it. Man, oh. I am excited. This E-Mod race is going to be great. Zyler Bryant out of Corpus Christi, Texas, number 74. Ramsey Virial out of Corpus Christi, Texas, number 30. Brad Wattups. Wattup? up? Wat it up? No, no, I know it's wad ups, but I don't want to see no wad ups. No, he up no, no wad ups. 34W, David Sheffield out of Orange Grove, Texas in the 4K. Dustin Witchy out of the 23 out of Corpus Christi. And then Brianna Witchy, 59B out of Corpus Christi. And Nathan Titzman out of the L87 out of Corpus Christi. 
Titsman has been in the top three every race. Let's see if he can come from yeah. the front, from Feature the back race. to the front. He's got a little challenge here because there's some good cars ahead of him in this oh, one. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of all rooting for Bradley Wattups a little bit. He had a tough week last week. Hold so on. Rooting for him. Eight ball one. Eight ball one what? That's what somebody said. Eight ball one? He oh, last week. Last? No, I don't know. Don't be texting me. Whoever that was, but I like it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got green. We got racing. All right, 74, Zyla Bryant. Had it. He lost it. Number 30, Ramsey Virial. And, yeah, we got a couple of hot, hot runners coming up behind him, but he's stepped out there. We got a good battle right now for second place. All right, that four car, that is running second right now. That is David Sheffield. Brianna Witchy though, making a move on the inside for that second spot. I think she's Ramsey got it. Burial. She's got a good lead right now. Got a good lead, does. but uh, Brianna's- That L87 is coming, baby. She's coming. Brianna Witchy's coming. She's strong on the, on the straightaways. Lose a little bit in the turns. All right, down the back stretch, it's still Ramsey Burial, Brianna Witchie in second, Sheffield is third, but we got a good battle right now. Fourth side by side, going into turn four. Brianna Witchie going for the lead. She's on the inside, Ooh. Ramsey Burial on Too the outside. Tight. She's there, yeah, though. She got cut off on that one, but she has speed on the straightaway. I've noticed that every race. She is fast on the straight. Burial able to hold her off for this lap. Yes. He's looking for the for the pathway around. Is it outside? Is it inside? Let's see if she drives oh, it in hard. All right, if it's in hard, is she going low? He cuts off the inside. Which he gets a great run down the back stretch. She's setting it up for go under. Let's see if she can do it down the back stretch. Does she have the speed? She has the speed. Can she hold it? No, not quite. Let's see. She's coming out of four, whether she's got anything. No. She's done all she can, I'll tell you that much. She's doing everything she can to get around, Ramsey Burrell. Oh, she lost a little bit there. Yes, she did. All right, white flag in hand as they come to the start finish line. Let's see what Brianna Witchie can do. She has one lap to catch Ramsey Burrell. Oh, he's going to get this one. No, he's got a pretty good lead now. It's going to be hard for her to close that gap. David Sheffield in. The four is running third. Down the back stretch, it's oh, Ramsey Burrell. Oh, yeah, he pushed way up high out of two. That's gonna cost him, well, he's gonna gain that spot back. Ramsey Burrell's gonna Ramsey win Burrell, you winner. Brianna Witchie second, third is David Sheffield. We got a battle here for fourth. And 74. That is Zyler Bryant. That was a really good run by Ramsey. Really good run by the 59B. No, she on top of her game she on had a one. good car she had a good run but ramsey is just a little tough to get around and he made that car a little wider than than uh she could handle right there didn't couldn't find a way around him but nonetheless a good run good race all right as we celebrate a win here by ramsey Virial in the 30 let's move on to heat race number two in the aoc auto parts emod class here's the way they line up starting on the pole will be kyla ross out of corpus christi in the 17 starting second daniel taylor in the 68t from Sinton. starting third daniel preston in the sixth starting fourth benjamin fanning in the 96f fifth place starter gilbert Perez the third in the three and in sixth is michael carlock driving the 6000 car i like that 6000 car sorry i thought his number was 74 all these years but he's driving 6000 tonight <laughs> When you got a for sale sign, I guess 6,000 is the number. I think 6,000 is the price more than the car number. All right, we're coming we're around. Let's see what 6,000 gets you right here. All right. There we go. We're green. Tyler Ross on the inside, on the outside. That is Daniel Taylor. Daniel Taylor Ooh. makes the move for the lead. Tyler Ross got kind of hung up and holding everybody back coming through one and two. Yeah, I'm going to stay on that throttle. All right, Tyler Ross. Gilbert Perez around the outside down to the bottom for second. There he goes Gilbert Perez. One. Gilbert Perez with an awesome first lap. He went from fifth to second in one lap. I think he's going to dispose of Daniel Taylor here pretty quick, our current leader. 
If he works on the inside, Taylor on the outside, I think yeah, Gilbert Pettis has it. He has it. Oh, Gilbert Pettis to the lead. All right, Daniel Preston worked that inside. He got Daniel himself Preston's third right behind spot. Him, baby. Daniel Taylor still running second. Does Daniel have enough time to get the first. I think Gilbert Perez has built up a pretty good lead. Let's see if Steven Danielson can make some headway. All right, Danielson now in second place. Moving Daniel Taylor back to third up front is Gilbert Perez. Gilbert Pettis is checked out. Daniel Pressman is second. That 68 had a really good run, and now he's got yeah, to he lost. made a couple of mistakes. He now lost he's got to it. gather himself back up. Third and fourth, that cost him. That cost him big time. All right, now moving in. Moving to the third right now is the 96F. That is Benjamin Fanning now in third spot. Trisha. Pittman. Took all the fun out of my job. Three cars checked out in a different area code. Two to go right here. All right, two to go. Looks like uh, Gilbert Pettis is showing third. Him two that's, to go. That's his race to lose right now. Second place, Steven Danielson. Running in third, I believe that is Fanning in the 96F. We'll take a close look here. Yes, it is. Fanning has third. Tyler Ross is in fourth. All right, white flag for Gilbert Pettis the third. As he has one more left to put this one away. Steven Danielson running second. Third Daniel spot. Daniel Preston's giving him all he's got. Giving all he's got, but he's not going to give him enough. Nope. All right, checker flag. There's your winner. Gilbert Pettis the third in the three. Running second. Coming across the start finish line right now. That is Steven Danielson. Third is in out a little bit. Tyler Ross making a move on the inside. Coming out of turn number four. Can she hold it? Can she hold it? Man, I think that's on the inside. I think that is spanning in the 96 up, but that was very close. Good closing run by Tyler Ross. The last couple of laps closed up real good. Couldn't quite grab that third spot. You having technical difficulties right there? <laughs> I am always having technical difficulties. I enjoyed that. That was great. What, right, what was you enjoying? I almost, they gave me the, the lineups for the for the feature races. And gotta, Man, this is going to be a great heat race right here. The Saints Ford Factory stock's fixing to come up. I do like that when they say that. Dylan Gaither out of San Antonio, Texas in the five. Jesse Sandoval out of Corpus Christi, Texas in the seven. Stephen Danielson in the 149 out of Corpus. Joey Heidemann on the 41S out of Corpus. Alan Torres, that guy's been on a mission. He's finished second here a few times this week, in the last few weeks, yep. out of San Antonio. And Stephen Grant's in the Saints Ford, 21G, rounding out the field. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now that 21G is going to be on a mission. He yes. ain't going to start in the yes, back in yes. no feature. Oh, Torres pulls oh, off. Well, oh. Torres pulls off. That changes the dynamic a bit. As that makes things way more interesting. Jamie Deer takes him around to the start finish. No, that's not Jamie Deer. That's that the is five Dylan car. Gaither in the that's five. That's Dylan Gaither. Yes, sir. Dylan Gaither from San Antonio. We've got a few San Antonio drivers in the house tonight. Oh. Got a little bit Yeah, Stephen Danielson in the 149. Joined us on the, on the Facebook Live earlier today. Jesse Sandoval holding into second right now, but uh, got a couple of tough cars behind him. Oh, as yeah. He's set and sailed, though, for that number five. Stephen Let's see. Danielson to the bottom. Stephen Danielson looking on the inside of Jesse Sandoval. That 21G is starting to make his way to the front. Is he still in the back, Hector? Just in case you didn't. Heineman kind of gets hung out on the outside. Yeah, you don't he's see in the that back. every day. No, you don't. He's been hot and cold this year. But uh, up front, pretty impressive run so far by Dylan Gaither in the five. But Jesse Sandoval hanging right in his tracks. I think this one's going to get real exciting before it's over. we got Sandoval's five cars. Sandoval's on that wheel tonight. Come on, Sandoval. Dylan Gaither pulls him down the back stretch. All right, Grant's now looking on the inside for third. Yep. Get, get tied up front. What does that mean? Stephen's not the one you want to run over. <laughs> well. And we'll see it right Steven here. Stephen Grant's going to say, 
All right, I got that third spot now. I told you. Uh, he, may, he may get a little payback here. Nope. Yep. I told you. Yep, those two are side by side now. It ain't over yet. But up front, we got to move for the lead as Jesse Sandoval closing in tighter. But he's running out of laps if he's going to do something, as is all these guys. Actually. Up, 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 up. 21, uh, losing it in turn four. I That's ran into the 1.9 last week, and I will tell you, it hurt me more than it hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's getting a little tight up front, but Gaither's still holding it. Jesse Sandoval second, Danielson third. Danielson White flag. Third. White flag. All right. See who's, who's got what left for one more lap besides this thing. Sandoval again making a run down the back stretch. I can only get up to the back wheel. Come on, Sandoval. Gaither is still holding that line. He's got uh, it. Oh, uh -oh. He made a mistake. Pushing up a little bit out of four. That leaves an opening. Not going to work, though. Ooh. Gave your first, Sandoval second, you Danielson can throw a runs over, third. That was a great run right that there. That was pretty awesome. Really all five are right there. Grant's got a little loose. And lost Grant's some, gave it a great run. Lost some positions. Yeah, but, yeah. He had a tough one. But that's uh, that's pretty good running right there. Dylan Gaithier are going to celebrate a heat race victory. And we're going to celebrate halftime. Once again, want to remind you, got a great band down inside and uh, yeah we got speakers set up out here so uh, you can hear the band out here as well riptide going to be providing the entertainment got plenty of great food we got dollar Coors light and we got something else going on here oh sage ford 115 chuck perry out on the point megan dunson on the outside and then you got the Memphis Virial. All right. Yeah. Zach Freeman out of Three Rivers, 0-0. Zero, zero. Memphis Virial on the outside, him in the Saints, 430. Uh, Cameron Dinsmore in the 8C. And Nathan, Nathan Rachi in the 25R. This is going to be hot. This is going to be a fast race right here, guys. No, Chuck Perry up there. He Chuck was, Perry in the front. He was saying this might be the night. Let's see what Ooh. happens. He jumped he off in a hurry. He had that Jerry Walter start. Yep, he sure did. He's away and running. Megan Dotson in I second. Don't know if the 30 ran over or something, but Ooh. it's going to get hot and heavy in the front here. Here we go. All right, Chuck been running that high line. Yeah, Most he's of the races. Running the high line. I mean, he usually is a tire getter. I know. I know, but he's been running high. 